and welcome back to another video and if you're here for the very first time it's lovely to meet you and you are most welcome. I'm Jane and my husband Michael is behind the camera. We're British, early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life on a super tight budget here in Brittany in northwest France and every Wednesday we open our home and invite you in for a midweek money chat. Now this week we're going to take a look at the ways that Mike and I prepare for autumn, things that we do to save money, things that we do to keep our budget and balances in check. And if you enjoyed the video today, don't forget to hit that like button. Now every new season gets Mike and I in a discussion about our needs and wants and this is a time of year where we evaluate that and it's really important for us not to get um, sucked in by all the lovely seasonal changes in the stores, all the Christmas goods that are there, all the autumnal goods that are there, all the new clothing that's there, all of those things and our supermarkets like your supermarkets are beautiful and they draw you in with very clever marketing. So it's a time of year where we sit down and we really do start thinking to ourselves, right, what do we need? What do we really need to do? What do we need to buy? And make sure that we prioritize over that because I can tell you something, there's so many lovely things out there, aren't there? These seasonal changes that if we're not careful, those wants can come in. So there's the first thing that we do. We evaluate the difference between our needs and wants and make sure we set our priorities. I absolutely love the food that we eat in cold weather, all those soups and stews and curries and casseroles and bakes. But it's really important for me at this time of year to make sure that I'm using up my stores. Now I've got plenty of beans, plenty of lentils, tons of chickpeas, all of those things that I've been squirreling away over the year. And now it's the time to make sure that I'm really using up what I've got in my pantry. Now I don't have a big freezer, but if I did, I would be going through my freezer as well, thinking, is there anything in there at the back of the freezer that needs rotating to the front? But with me, it's very much a pantry challenge. So I'm looking at my recipe book. I'm looking at those soups and stews. I can put those big chunky green and brown French lentils in that I can get those lovely spicy curries with the chickpeas and getting things seasonal in it like pattern up squashes and pumpkins. So there you go. There's something else I really start doing at this time of year. Start using up all those plant-based proteins and pulses and lentils and beans that are in my store cupboard and get them in my seasonal recipes. I really like it when it starts to get cooler and the summer starts to just ebb away and we can start going for those really long walks. Now I do like to get my steps in every day but I can tell you it's just as many as I need in the summer months but in these autumn months it's really a time for us to get out, get our hiking boots on and get walking and we really do start thinking about getting ourselves to be as fit and healthy as we can with winter coming up. Seems to be lots of coughs and colds and bronchitis and things like that going around this autumn with this winter coming up isn't there. So really trying to get ourselves as healthy and fit as possible and making the most of those walking trails that we have all around us. If I lived in a city I'd probably get out in the local parks, probably get out and do some maybe some heritage walks around but we do make the most of that. It costs us nothing, it, it prepares us for the winter and also it's making the most of this beautiful autumnal weather. As we seem to have quite nice weather here, and it seems to be quite good really up until the end of October, we like to make the most of the last of the outdoor sales. UK you would call them a uh, car boot sale, here we call them a vid grenier, an empty your attic vid grenier. Now we like to make the most of those and we, there's a, maybe one or two more that we might go to at this time of year. 
but people want to get rid of stuff at this time of year. Prices are really good, sometimes cheaper than we see them earlier in the season. Um, we know what we're looking for. We're often looking for things like plant pots and tubs to grow things on in, in our garden, for example. So if I have an idea in mind of things I'm looking for, often people have emptied their pots out, for example, or they're selling plants quite cheaply at this time of year. Trees are very cheap to buy at this time of year as well. So we make the most of those last few outdoor sales and we're looking for a few of the leftover bargains. This is the time of year when Mike and I start evaluating our overall budget. Those things that we have sinking funds for that we put in place all the time to save up for next year. This is tax season for us. We've paid, we've had and paid our income tax bill. We've had and paid our property tax bill. We've received yesterday our tax bill for our refuse and our recycling. And the next one we'll get after that will be our business tax bill. But this is the time of year where we don't really know until we get it exactly how much it's going to be. We know within, I would say, about 50 euros for each of the bigger bills. But we were surprised how much lower our refuse tax bill was. And I mean, much, much lower. We budgeted 220 and the bill came in at 68 euros. And we worked out that previously there'd been a, a hiccup and they hadn't billed us for two or three years. So we're able to evaluate that and also look at those other big long-term things that need to pay for. Our water bill, so we, we get details through in our sort of October, November time of any changes to our water bill. Um, so far, so good, no increase in prices, but it's a time of year where we do reflect on those bigger bills that we do have to save up for throughout the year. The second part of auditing our budget, of preparing for next year, of maybe looking at our savings in one way or another, is we have to save up sometimes over two or three years for any projects or work we want to do to our property. And we have to take a very slow, long approach to that where we save a little bit each month to get there eventually. But we do have to keep an eye on prices and it's a good time of year for us to sit down and say, I tell you what, Mike, you look at car prices at the moment. I'll look at prices of trees for our garden or I'll look at some materials that we need for. I'll look at paint prices, for example. Um, it's coming up to maybe two in two years in the future, we might need to repaint the outside of our house. But by doing that annually, we then don't have a big shock when we look at prices. Um, we're going to need to start and get some new clothes maybe in the new year. So having a look online, we can always look online at clothes prices, can't we? Um, you know, what, what does a new coat cost me? If you don't buy one for three years, it can be a real shock three years later when you look at those prices. So for us, it's a good time of year to audit how much we should be putting aside each month for clothing, how much we should be putting aside each month for painting the house in the future and looking at those price changes. And that means each year we can flex and change our sinking funds just a little bit to put that money aside to make sure we've got no surprises. To save money on this big piece of land that we've got here, we make sure that we do as much as we possibly can. We do all the maintenance of the garden ourselves. So we really make the most of this time of the year. So I will go around and edge all the borders and the flower borders all myself. I'll go around myself, deadheading any plants that need deadheading, make sure I've pruned any shrubs. I've cut back all the shrubs that have got really big and leggy that we've cut back any branches on trees that are hanging down, that we've given everything a good prune, that we've given the hedges the last cut of the season, that we've really cut back the grass and tidied everything up, that we've turned our compost heaps, that we're 
getting trees planted and getting all those pieces of work done because it just saves us time and money in the long run because if we left all of this to get too unruly or too big or too long we wouldn't be able to manage it we'd have to pay people with bigger machinery to come in and do it but by making sure that we keep on top of it whilst we're young and fit enough to do so that it does save us money and also our property is our biggest asset we need to look after that Now, although we've got such lovely autumnal weather here, I am starting to think that winter will be just around the corner and I do need to start swapping around clothes. So I've been upstairs and I've had a good look and pulled out all our winter jumpers and fleeces. I found our thermal hats and gloves and scarves and I've got them all out and they've been in the cupboard a good few months. So all of them are just gonna get a quick light wash and they're going to go on the washing line once I have this lovely autumnal sunshine and everything's out. Because it's very easy if something's out of sight and out of mind to forget where I put it. So it means I'm not gonna think to myself, oh, I don't know where my gloves are, or I don't know where my hats are, and I won't get, <laughs> I won't get suckered into buying any new ones. So it's, they're all good. I can check if anything needs mending. You know, it's like your winter coat and you suddenly think, oh yeah, I put that away and I didn't mend the pockets in my winter coats. And it just means I can just check on everything as well. Also getting out my lovely winter boots so we can make sure that we've uh, made sure they're all clean, that we've waterproofed them, that any of our walking coats, that we've waterproofed them and we're ready. Come on, if it starts raining, if it starts getting cold, we're ready for it. <laughs> So at this time of year, we make the most of the fact that most of the tourists have gone. Now we live in a part of Brittany where we are surrounded on three sides by the most beautiful coastline and it surely does draw in a lot of tourists. So we make the most at this time of year when they are fewer. They're here all year, I can promise you, but they are much fewer at this time of year. We make the most of heritage days where things are open to the public for free. We make the most of doing sort of town walks and city walks and visiting places that normally charge for car parking. At this time of year, the car parking is now free again. It's a good time of year that we can still get out and about. It's still warm enough, but not too warm. It's still nice weather, but we can pack a picnic and take ourselves off to somewhere. And we really like to get to coastal resorts at this time of year. It's really, really lovely to take a nice autumnal walk. It's not too hot, it's not too crowded. It's a great time of year, and we make the most of doing it for free. Now everything has its season, and at this time of year, it seems to be a very popular time of year to relocate yourself, to move yourself to a new house. And what people tend to do is sell lots of the items in their house. So we are looking for a freezer to go into our basement. And we're keeping an eye on Facebook Marketplace because lots of people, when they move, they do not want to take the big bulky items with them that maybe they've had a few years that maybe they were gonna replace anyway. So it's a really good time of year that we've noticed that we can find some good bargains because people are moving house and the stuff they want rid of and I'm happy to buy it much cheaper. Well, like I said, I really enjoy this time of year. I enjoy the change of seasons when it starts to get a bit cooler. We can start eating those delicious autumn foods, getting out and having walks when it is so much cooler and quieter. And we love your comments. What do you do at this time of year that has a money saving element to it. Is there something you stock up on in your pantry? Is there something that you do that saves you money to prepare for the autumn season? We love to hear from you. We read every single one of your comments. If you've enjoyed the video today, come on, make sure you hit that like button. And thank you to all subscribers, old and new. We appreciate every single one of you. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.